Hey guys, it's me Jojo. Welcome back. Really glad that you guys are here. Today I am going to be building a coliseum and I thought that it might be cool um, for me to kind of show you guys the process of doing it because like a lot of you have been asking like, well, like, how do you do this and how, how are you doing things? So uh, I figured I would kind of show you how I do it. So the first step um, is going to be like to figure out where you want to do it. And so I kind of looked at the map. Um, we've got stuff going on down here. This is like the main area where you come in. There's like the beach. That is the prison. There's the castle. And then we've got some stuff going on over here. And then that is going to be the safari. So I thought, well, either like right here, um, but I didn't feel like that was a really big enough space. And so I thought this might be perfect right here. Um, it's close to the castle, you know, like it seems to kind of make more sense. And there's a little tally tower there if we want to teleport right there. So I picked this area and so then um, I cleared it out. So obviously you don't need to watch me do that. Um, so I cleared that all out and then the next part will just kind of be measuring. And so I went and I actually, oh, I got a measuring tape from John. Um, I am in the new update. Um, I'm on the test update right now, but eventually the update will come out and we'll have these tape measures. And these tape measures are pretty cool. Um, so I kind of thought that I would so I know for a fact, you know, kind of like you can not build under the Tele Tower. So I thought, well, we'll just kind of eyeball it. I don't know how big. We'll just kind of start. And then for a starting place, I figured I'd put like a marble um, marble thing. And then that way um, you can kind of see it when you're going up. So yeah, so it only goes to 16. So on 16, I'm going to put, um, or I should say on number 17, I'm going to put a, a block. Again, you see how it stopped on seven, uh, stopped on 16, and then so on 17 I put a block, and then that is where I will start my tape measure the next time, and so I'm just going to kind of measure it like this the whole way, and then when it stops, I place a path, and I start it on there again, and then obviously I'll just have to multiply however many I get by, um, by 16. So with three corners done, I think I'm going to kind of get up in the sky um, and just kind of look at the big picture, see if that's enough for me to see. Um, that might not really be enough for me to see. And then, okay, so that's actually might be better. Um, that's way too, that's way too, like, long. I'd like it, like, long and, like, skinnier. So that is way too, I don't know, wide that way. All right, back over here. This is what we've got going on. I've kind of given up on the measuring tape. It's actually pretty frustrating to use huge scale like this. So I just put the path blocks. Um, they're super easy to remove with the jackhammer because they just come up like this. So if I want to take them up, uh, it's, it's fast. So not a problem. So I just decided to put a path down and kind of look. Okay, so I got everything measured out. I used the tape measure and then that little mark and then that little mark. Um, so I can use um, just the map to count it out. Um, and it is a little bit harder to see, but there's one, two, three, four, five. So I'll have to go 16 times five, and then I'll add six for that little section there. Same thing down there. Then I don't have to run around and like keep looking around the map because it's kind of big. So, All right, I've made just a small section. Kind of what I'm thinking is I wanted to have like well at least three rows so obviously this is the height max for the game so it's already like tiny scale as <laughs> is um so i was thinking like maybe three rows and then like the walkway thing and then another three rows and then the walkway thing and then the arena so we're gonna have to dig down in the ground for sure actually i could be doing this more efficiently much more efficient. All right, now that we've kind of made sure that the arena will be fine um, for the people like actually battling in here, um, and I do like that, um, you know, there's kind of like three rows of seating and then like a walkway and then three rows of seating and then we left room for another walkway and then the arena. So now I kind of need to figure out um, how to actually do the corners um, because, you know, I kind of have this fairly rectangular and I don't want, oh, that looks cool. 
Oh yeah, that looks cool. So the way that it kind of blends the height, the height is the highest height is like white, and then it kind of you know like tapers down and and so yeah that that's gonna look really neat on the map <laughs> um but anyway i'll need to like figure out how to like kind of make the corners uh to make it more of an oval rather than rectangle it's definitely not gonna be a rectangle so i'm gonna go over to the other corner that i haven't done anything with just to kind of like play with the shape to figure out you know how to make a, a good oval so one two three four five i don't know maybe like that if we kind of do What are we going to do like that? Totally just guessing here. And after doing a quick math, um, what do we have here is 86 uh, by 45. Evens and odds is a big thing to me. So uh, I'll figure out like what I want to do for the entrance. This is a lot of dirt to fill in. Okay, just to test it out, I brought over everything, um, all the walls, I should say, kind of the main parts, the main walkways, just to make sure that we are flat and then we are right. So now I can kind of test out the entrance. Um, I like odd numbers. Um, I'm just kind of odd that way. So I think this is kind of what we want to do. Obviously, um, the entrance, I can pop out more. It doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be like well, the fight behind this line. So I kind of want um, the entrance to be big um, and amazing. But at the same time, like you shouldn't enter, like like all of the people watching shouldn't like enter the arena and um, like go down in the arena. So I think like I might um, kind of build up. This is just my medium to show me exactly like where the center is. So that's my line here was the center but um i think i might kind of try to like build up the land so that we get up to i think i'd like to have it like on this level so that's like kind of when you come in we'll see if i can make it work okay so this is what we have so far i thought that i'd um kind of i don't know not necessarily make it all flat i don't really like flat edges so kind of round that out i might even put one more pillar here to kind of round it out this will put like a statue we'll put like the same you know double statues on there and then when you come on in i'll probably oh i'll probably do like some little fancy thing right here so that you can kind of stand and like overlook the arena down in there and then like this will be the area where all of the stands are this was just my test um i kind of figured that i'd rip it out um and actually it's really working out so this is kind of nice that i don't have to rip out too much. I will have to rip out like the corners back here once I actually figure out, you know, like how to, um, how to, the shape that I want it in the corners. Um, so a lot of this will have to come out, but for the most part, I don't have to take out much. So that's really nice. Okay. After filling in a lot more dirt, um, this is what we're looking like. I've got this all, um, filled in. Um, so yeah, pretty good there. Um, I'm still not sure what to do with the corners. Um, so I've been procrastinating, but, uh, we've come to the point like where I have to do the corner. So I have to figure it out. So I think I need to open the map. Um, I don't know. I just, I want it like not so straight across there. Um, so I'll try like doing a curve and just make it just not straight across there. So I had a straight line. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm going to try to like just round it out. I don't know, like that, maybe that. As long as I like do the same on both sides, um, I'm not sure. Maybe a diagonal there, diagonal there. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just like trying, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's looking the same. I don't know, maybe just straight across. Um, yeah, except take out that one in the corner right there. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I guess I'm good with that. Let's see what it looks like on the map. Um, actually, yeah, no, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm good with that. First try. Nice. So I'm just filling in the walls here. I'm just using the template on the ground so that I know where to place blocks. And I guess before I get too crazy with the walls, I'm going to need to figure out like how wide I want it. Um, so yeah, it, it would suck to try to take these walls back out. 
All right, these bleachers are taking up a lot of space. 11 blocks. And if I keep the walls, I don't know, like I am right now, um, 11 will be right there. Uh, okay, so, hmm. All right, so the arena, yeah, I guess that's big enough. Um, it, I mean, it looks smaller, but when you're actually down here, yeah, that's, that's plenty of room, I think. That's not like too narrow. I think that'll work. So yeah, we won't have to move this, that's good. Not now, crocodile. I have my weapons out. I'm busy building here. Stop it. Alright, I'm just gonna double check my pattern. I did two, two, one, two, one, and then I turned and I went two, one, one, two, two. Okay, so just double checking things. Especially when you're talking about walls this tall. Two, two, one, two, one. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, totally irrelevant to this project, but why do these have to look so terrible? I mean, you should be able to put um, a, a pillar of sand up without having these brown lines. Oh, the prison kind of looks cool in the distance. That's what's like above my head there. <laughs> the prison. Neat. I just noticed something. My my mark straight across is the entrance and it's off centered. Quite off centered. <laughs> That's gonna have to be fixed. This is JoJo's happy place. <laughs> and if my friend Josue was here, she'd be right over here on these swings and she would be swinging and she would be chatting with me. And she'd be keeping me company. She's such a sweet friend. We love her. And then when I would take a break, we would come over and we would drink tea. Listen to this, you guys. Have you have you heard the tea? Listen. <laughs> I love the sipping sound. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, back to work. Okay, so I decided to um, kind of stop and do the, the middle first because that's kind of the most important part. This is the main focus, the main like point of this whole build is the actual battle arena. Um, so everything really needs to center around it. Um, I like to stop what I'm doing and um, just go around from all angles, um, jump up on walls, look at it from different angles, things like that help me um, because I am somewhat particular with how things look um, on the map and, um, you know, just in general uh, when they're done. So I, I do like to take a step back often and yeah, just, kind of, just kind of look at things from different views. So what we're looking at is actually looking fairly narrow. Um, this is looking more narrow than I wanted it. So I'm on the part of putting in the double aid path, um, and I'm kind of getting confused about uh, how to do that. So I decided I would put in um, like the outside line that you know, basically copying what I did up here, put in the outside line, and I just thought I'd kind of like put it in white, fill in that, and then fill in this one. I'm filling quite a few of them. It was the corners that were. Right, I think putting the white on one of them. Is kind of good because then I can see. Uh, okay. Oh, quite a few. Okay, so now that I have kind of filled in this corner, um, I'm realizing that I'm running out of space. Um, yeah. <laughs> I need to be able to put the, the last two down here. And I think I'm going to So... Alright, so this is what we have. Um, it's more round than I wanted it to be. It's like perfectly round right there, and I kind of wanted it to be a little bit longer there. Um, oh well, I mean, it is what it is, but that's alright. Um, we'll, just, we'll just run with it. <laughs> Rip, this is way narrower than I wanted. Um, I'm not sure if I 
maybe we'll take out, you know, kind of like push back a wall, take out some seats. I'm not positive, um, but yeah, it's way narrower than I was hoping. So now what? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we decided to push the walls out five blocks. So that's what we're doing. We're adding five more blocks and then a third outside because it is just too small and I was going to hate it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. So like, as as I'm trying to figure out how to make the, like kind of extend the wall, um, Nifty and Comp are like literally filling in the wall as quickly as I'm doing it. So this is amazing. Thank you guys so much. Figured out one corner just to extend it by five out, um, you know, kind of had to adjust the thing. And then we're just going to do it all around. Okay, so we got um, we got the whole thing done. Um, we, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's looking amazing. I love it from the map. Um, we, we pushed the walls out five blocks um, it, it, just all the way. Um, and then kind of had to yeah, fix it accordingly. So this is what we're looking at. Um, it, it's a nice big size. Um, it's a lot wider than it was. This still needs to move. Um, so this, this here will move, um, we'll get that taken out, push back, fix the tunnel um, accordingly, it's just that didn't get pushed back. So yeah, um, some helpful things that, I, that we found um, was using these um, pillars as markers. Um, it was kind of nice, you know, that we could kind of like stand here and then you can kind of um, like line it up and see, see if you're, oh, can I fall? See if you're in line. I don't know if I can get back in. <laughs> Um, nope, I can't. All right, let me get back in. Okay, let's take to the sky. And what I usually like to do is I usually like to place blocks um, just so I can kind of see what the blocks look like, um, both from the inside of the build and the outside. All right, and then we just kind of tried a bunch of things and everybody kind of put in the input as to why, you know, um, that wasn't going to work. Yep, so we just tried a bunch of things out and yeah, just trial and error. We really tried a lot of combinations. So we really tested out a bunch of stuff. Um, I really like the contrast. Um, and we, we decided that the benches definitely needed to be this style. And the only ones that we have are the marble um, in this style. All the other ones are wood and they have backs. Um, and that, that's just not, you know, the style that would be like in the Colosseum. So that's kind of what we're going for. Um, so knowing that we're stuck with the white, um, so we're just kind of trying to figure out, yeah, what color combination um, is going to go best. And then fences, <laughs> all of it. <laughs> okay, and once again, we're being busy. <laughs> So, um, Comp had an idea. He's like, let's put, um, a bow and arrow, um, in the, in here. So, I thought that was a pretty cool idea, so he did that. And then, yeah, we're still kind of messing around with, we're still figuring out what we want to do. Um, we've got a couple different ideas. Some people are like, hey, let's just leave it dirt. Um, this is still an idea. This is just so, like, I don't know, dull looking. <laughs> and then, so here's one idea um, to do a concrete path and then just leave the dirt. Uh, and then here's the opposite idea of over the other side is to have cement here and then that. So we're kind of messing around with that still. Oh, I had food in my mouth. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs>
Walk around like this? No. Nope. <laughs> so the more that Nifty like scooped us up and dropped us back down, the more sideways that we got. So at one point, just way was like completely. You could see her. Well, you could, you could. She was like totally sideways, and I was trying to eat my lunch, and I'm like laughing so hard that I'm choking on my food, trying not to die. <laughs> we were having a blast. Why <laughs> to choke on my food? <laughs> This is what we decided, um, even though it's not, I don't know, realistic, um, it's not like of the, the time era of a Colosseum, like of the Roman Empire, but um, the black looks really nice contrasted with the white marble benches, and um, so that's what we decided to go with. So we're trying out a lot of things on here, um, just, I don't know, we're very limited about what we can do. Okay, let's take a look at the final build. Um, of course, this is the castles right there. Um, the prison is just right there, and then that's the path from the town. So when you come up this way, this is what you get to see. Um, the crazy amount of flowers that have naturally spawned out here. I didn't plant any of this at all, <laughs> like none of the flowers. Um, I didn't want this area to look pretty. Um, I wanted it to look like impressive, but not like pretty and, and fluffy. Um, this is a place for like brutality and death. It shouldn't be like pretty. So um, these are all natural flowers, um, way too much. Uh, the flower generation is crazy, kind of needs to be fixed, but anyway. Um, so I put some signs up here just so like players like know ahead of time. Um, like you enter the arena at your own risk, like you're gonna die basically. Um, and then if you die, you lose money and durability. If you regen yourself, um, if you wait for somebody to like revive you, then you actually don't. But anyway, I wanted the warnings out there. And then I'm just saying like, you know, you have to have a bow, you have to have mighty spread. And if you need it, just ask. So that's, um, that's what it looks like up here. I do really like <laughs> the roof still up in there, that pillar. That's funny. I do like how this turned out. Um, we've got some like intimidating looking statues there. Um, love that this tunnel and uh, this entrance looks very cool. Um, and then when you hop up here, um, yeah, comp, uh, the bow and the arrow that he, um, ended up with looks really good. But when you open up the map, um, because this is below, um, sea level, yeah, it's just white. So you can't actually see the bow and arrow. So I actually decided to recreate them out here. And so I did, um, over here and then I put like the green fur grass down just so it would, you know, kind of pop out a little bit more and kind of be a little bit more noticeable. So that's what's up with that. That's why I duplicated them twice. And then, yeah, let's go jump on over here and we'll see what we ended up with. See if I can get up here. Yes, I can. Yay. So this is where the royal king and queen would sit and watch. Um, and I, I popped out this wall just a, just a little bit, just one block, so that you can kind of see everything. So it does look really cool up here. Um, I like how this turned out. I'm pretty happy with all of this. Comp had a great idea to punch this wall out and put um, the steps down here so the royal fleet can sit here and, you know, transport the king and queen and the royal court uh, to and from. But um, no, no jet skis back here. This is royal fleet parking only. And then no peasants entering this way. Like, this is for the, the royal court only. So peasants, you guys got to go in the, the entrance over there. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the build. Um, hope you guys um, enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. If there is a competition uh, for the, the vacancy on the throne, I uh, will be certain to let you know. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Bye, guys.